Okay, so on this horse, we're going to show you guys a few different things. Uh, this, we've been following this guy for about uh, maybe three, four years, something like that. And so we can see how his dentition has changed annually. Uh, he started off with some really big malocclusions. We'll show you some pictures early on. He had a big wave, some big abnormalities of wear. And then progressively, uh, that's gotten better because of the occlusal equilibration that we've been doing. So we'll show you that first. Uh, and then we'll also put some, some pictures in there of each year. And then gradually now we're starting to see some infundibular caries. And infundibular caries, typically what we can see is they're like an iceberg where we typically see the tip. So generally speaking, whatever we see on the occlusal surface, it's safe to assume that below the occlusal surface in the reserve crown, the problem is, is worse. You can see that there's many studies that demonstrate this very well. It's very notable on CT scans. Uh, and so what you'll see here is early on, we don't see really any infundibular caries of any significance. And now they're to the point where if we don't do a restoration, these teeth that are, are at a high likelihood for fracturing. Okay, so if we see here, the wave has improved tremendously. Uh, but look at these infundibular caries on this side here. And we'll, we'll show you what it looks like with the endoscope. You'll be able to appreciate it. Sorry, he's moving a little bit, uh, but you can see how we have these significant carries. But look at the wave, how that's improved tremendously. Okay, so here we're starting in at the number six. This is the number seven. And here we can see significant carries on the eight. Okay, and they're much worse than they were even one year ago. And so these are the, this is a, a, a great case to show how important it is to to catch the dental disease early and do a restoration. So what we'll do is we'll do a restoration and then we'll show you guys, we have some one right here on the 11 that's starting to appear as well. So we'll go ahead and do the filling and show you what it looks like part way through and then at the end. So here you can see where we've cleaned out those carries. It's really hard to appreciate in two dimensions, but those are actually very, very deep. And uh, so there's very little structural integrity to this tooth until we prefer to perform the restoration. So we'll show you guys in just a few minutes here once we put in the composite. So here's what the restoration looks like all complete. So now we can see how we've restored all of the integrity to that tooth. We can prevent it from having any, any issues down the road. The material we use is a composite that's similar in hardness to a dentin, so it wears at about the same rate as, as the tooth. And uh, yeah, this is a great procedure for trying to prolong the dentition of, of horses with infundibular caries.